Okay, quick video. I'm at a house in Wells. Uh, mice are running all through it. She doesn't know how they're getting in. So we show up because that's what we do. We try to figure out how they're getting in. Uh, start by pulling in the driveway and right away I notice the bottom left hand corner sweep as they call them. It's a garage door. Um, this little piece that fits against the garage door nice and tight. If you follow it down and you look right here, they chewed it out. Some mouse droppings here, staining. Um, mice are edge creatures, so they like to hide. They try to find the areas where they're not going to be seen or eaten by birds, squirrels, uh, cats, elephants, whatever walks by and wants to eat a mouse, I guess. So, so they stay on the edge the same way on the inside. So they're walking along the inside in here. You know, once they come through that sweep, They'll come up. Um, I started noticing some staining, as you can see. The staining, droppings. We like to call them chocolate jimmies. Um, that was sitting there, and you could see the edges where they're following all of this stuff. So I just follow the trail. Keep walking, come up to the other part. There's, I'll put this back. There's her trash cans, they've been sitting there. You can't tell by looking down here, but if you look behind it, Down here, you can see the trail. Look at this. The, the, they don't have a bladder, so they they are constantly going to the bathroom, which creates a scent trail, but also creates staining that we can see. Um, they can follow the scent trail, so you can see it follows this way. You can tell in the corner it's obviously concentrated more, so it's going to be worse. But you can see a distinct trail. They're also walking above on the concrete here, which you can see, and really up here the staining. Now that staining continues on. She's got some stacked sheetrock here and it goes behind it. So what do we do? We get back our, up off our knee, walk a little further, come over. You can't really tell, but inside there, there's some horrible, horrible staining in that corner. And it's going along the edge. And they're coming up here, down on the floor again, making the corner. Now it gets really interesting. I'll look real quick here. See these cans? And look how they're sneaking out behind there and they're coming around. They'll walk around out here a little bit, but you don't see much because they're going back in where it's safe. Right here, there's a stairway that goes up into the house. So we go over into this corner. Look at the staining here, all down here. Now we're getting into the real crux of it. This is where all the mice are congregating and they're making this corner right here. And look at that, look at that. Why is that? Well, it's... Boarded, right? Board, board, board. Oh, look. Big hole right in the corner. And you can see the mass of the standing where they are always going and going in, which puts them down under the stairway that gets them in into the house. Once they get in the structure of the house, they can follow the walls, they can follow plumbing lines, electrical lines. They'll go wherever they want to go. Um, you're not gonna see this stuff because you've got your normal garage stuff, you know, things in here. You, you, you do what you can to keep a nice, neat garage. It's got nothing to do with the neatness or not neatness of this, but they wanna get in this house. They've been doing it for years. And over the time they've created those scent trails. That's what we do. We come in, we find these trails, we show them to you and you're like, oh my God, I never knew that was there. I'm not a dirty person, I swear. I know you're not a dirty person. You have a nice clean house but you have mice. Give us a call, we'll figure it out, and we'll fix it. Talk to Miranda, Mike and I will show up, we'll do a stupid video at your house too, and hopefully by then I'll know how to work this phone. Thanks, have a great day.